Hello people of YouTube, Kieran here. Welcome back to our Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn Let's Play. Uh, last time was the second part of Raise the Standard. Um, we were joined by, joined by Fiona, the daughter of one of Dane's four riders, uh, before King Ashnard, who we also learned Tyronia was one of, along with uh, Ike's father, uh, Grail, or Gawain. So yeah, that was neat. Um, we don't really know what we're doing now. There was no real direction given at the end of the last chapter. So uh, let's get into it and see where the story leads, shall we? The Liberation Army's sweeping victory seems to signal a turn in the war for Dayin. However, General Jared uses his superior numbers to harry the group and threaten their fragile momentum. Benyan has fortified its ben army with weapons and supplies bought with funds stolen from Dayan. Benyan has also purchased the swords of a vast number of mercenaries from these same stolen funds. That could be scary. The Liberation Army does not want for willing fighters of its own. However, most are old men and inexperienced boys whose passion far outstrips their skill. The Liberation Army has no choice. It must bolster its ranks if it is to meet Benyon on equal terms. Its only hope lies locked in Benyon's prison camps, where Dayin's former soldiers await their rescue. All right. Sounds promising. <laughs> I know I say this a lot, but I'm so glad they changed the screen just a little bit. It's so nice. That might be a little harder to understand. Just put some mints in my mouth. That's uh, completely unrelated to anything, but that'll be our question of the day. Do you prefer mints or gum and why? And what flavor? Personally, I'm eating Icebreaker's Cool Mint. It's generally my uh, go-to. Anyway, this guy I can't stand. <clears throat> As General Staff Officer of Dayan's Liberation Army, allow me to outline my latest strategy. Makaya gonna say no again. <laughs> Excuse me, but shouldn't Prince Peleus be here? There's no need to distract the Prince with the war's petty details. He won't be coming to any more meetings. From now on, consider my words the Prince's own. I don't know about that. I really hate this guy. I'm not sure that's enough idle chatter. Come have a glance, my pretties. I really hate this guy so much. Our next target shall be Umono. Among all the work camps, it is one of the largest. So we start with the largest? That doesn't sound, um, ideal. Conditions within the prison camp are harsh. If we are to save the prisoners, every moment matters. One of the largest work camps. Can our forces handle that? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Shouldn't we start with the small one and use the forces we gain to work our way up? Such a trivial concern, and one my profound genius has already addressed. Behold this lake next to the camp that provides fresh water to all there. Into this lake, we shall dump a deadly toxin of my own devising. Then we'll sit back as the enemy slowly dies. Wouldn't that also kill the prisoners? Not to mention we're poisoning our own homeland, but, um, yeah. What are you saying? The poison is inexcusably vile. I will agree to no such plan. What, what, what was that? You. You. How dare you question my plan, conceived in a state of exalted meditation. No matter how misguided the enemy may be, we must fight with compassion and consideration for the innocent. She's right. Poison doesn't discriminate. Prisoners would die too, and any nearby villages would be affected. And then what would happen? People would doubt us, question our cause, maybe even side against us. And it would cast a stain on Prince Peleus's name, don't you think? Eh. Look, I'm not sure if Azuka's the guy that I think he is from the last game, but that notwithstanding, I can't stand him in this game either. <laughs> Fine then, do as you like. And when you find yourselves utterly defeated, you can come crawling back to me. Alright, Tyronio, help us out here. My apologies to both of you. When Lord Azuka gets excited, he can lose all sight of reason. I apologize too, General Tyronio. He stormed out because I... You needn't apologize. You're in the right. I would never condone the use of poison. 
However, this does mean we must devise another plan if we are to have any hope of victory. Yes, you're right. In that case, what do you think of this strategy? Alright, what's Micaiah got in mind? I'd say start with the smallest one and work up. Really? What do you think of this strategy and then there's no strategy? I haven't been checking. Oops. Okay, that's fine. And then he needs. Okay, so we need a um, a dagger, a heel staff, and a sword. Staff, sword, Definitely want the uh, the secret book. And then I can't afford the longbow, so that works. It's well, for anybody. Is it under level 10, unpromoted. unpromoted. Promoted now, basically. Um, 
I treat the Lagoos a little differently when determining their level. Because, at least in Path of Radiance, they couldn't promote. And they capped at level 20. Assuming that that has not changed, um, I'm not going to worry about that quite yet. Doubles experience gained is good. Okay, both those are good, but I don't think I want to use either of them yet. Let's see, Micaiah and Sophie. Oh, really good. Who can Jill? Jill and Teronio? I kind of want to do Teronio and Meg if they can. Just because, you know, the two armor units together. What do the companions want? H hello. Oh, hello there. H hello. Yes, hello. Now that we have that established, what can I do for you? Um, uh, I, I'm, I'm Meg. Yes, I know. It's nice to meet you, Meg. That's a very nice name. And, uh, I'm from Crimea. Yep, I'm one step ahead of you. Heard that, too. You're far away from home now, aren't you? Quite an independent girl, eh? Um, and my village, it's called Oma. Oh, you're from Oma. Now, that's something I did not know. Yes. Then you must know Brom. Hold on a second. You look exactly like him. Are you two related? We sure are. I'm his daughter. His youngest daughter. Oh, I've heard stories. He loves to tell stories about his kids. He said that you could lift a full-grown cow. It's nice to meet the person I've heard so much about. How is Brom? Doing well? He died. Oh, he didn't. Cool. I was really expecting a, oh no, he's dead. <laughs> yes, yes he is. He works all the time. I do wish he would slow down. Ah, yes. Well, it's good to hear he's staying busy. Brom, huh? Wow, brings back memories. Well, if you're his daughter, I'll do whatever I can to help you. You said you were looking for somebody? Who is this person? Well, he's my... he's my fiancé. How could any guy leap a girl like you? What's this lucky guy's name? What's he like? Well, he's standing right in front of me. Wait, what? I'm sorry. I'm sure I misheard you. Can you repeat that? Slowly? My daddy told us years ago that he was going to marry one of us to a really nice friend of his, a mercenary named Zyhark. Whoa, hey now, I don't, uh... But my oldest sister got married last year, and so I came instead. Oh, it's so nice to finally meet my husband. Okay, this is interesting. Meg, look, this is kind of crazy. Zyhark, I'm sure I still have a lot to learn. But after meeting you, I just know we'll live happily ever after. Meg, I need you to listen very closely. Oh, don't worry. I'll work hard every waking moment uh, to become a good wife, even during a fight. See you later, Pookums. Okay... Wow, she's downright pushy. She must get that from her old man. And did she just call me Pookums? Alright, that's... interesting. Let's see what the prince has to say. Sorry to call you here like this. Forgive me. It's quite alright. Can I pour you some tea? Or just something else you'd prefer? I'm fine, thank you. What do you want to speak with me about? I know you're angry with me. Please forgive me. Can you tell me why you stopped showing up at our meetings? It was at Azuka's request. You're the leader of this army. You cannot simply leave all the decisions to someone else. I'm sorry. I'll ask Azuka before the next meeting. I need his permission to attend. Why? You're the prince. Why should you need any man's permission, much less your own advisor's? Yes, I am the prince, but I owe much to Azuka. He taught me everything I needed to know to become a proper member of the royal family. He contacted Teronio and the other senators from Dayan for help. Without his power and influence, I would never have mustered an army, or met my own mother. I see. You were alone. Pardon? And then Azuka reunited you with your mother, gave you a place to stay, and provided you with a reason to live. And you feel you owe him a debt of gratitude for ending your loneliness. That's why you try to do as you're told, as Azuka wishes. Makaya, you're... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... That was inappropriate. You're amazing. Amazing? You really can read minds. I'm simply amazed. You saw right through me. Sorry, I got too excited. Look at me, I'm sweating. Prince Peleus. What is it? Why are you looking at me like that? That mark. Oh, that. What is it? It's called the Spirit's Protection. The source of all magic in this world is tied to the power of the spirits. When you make a pact with such a spirit, 
its power manifests on your body like this. I see. What am I saying? You already know all, all of this, of course. You have the spirit's protection too. What? I saw you washing your hands the other day. When I walked... When I walked... Grr. When I walked up to you to say hello, I saw the mark on your right hand. You saw... I thought of confiding in you right away, but my mother called for me. I didn't get a chance to tell you until now. Do you think this mark is really the spirit's protection? Oh, you didn't enter into the pact yourself? No. I see. So it must have been the spirit who wished to make a pact with you. Pardon? It's a very rare phenomenon among newborns. Usually it happens to infants who have an un... Uh, who have an exceptional talent for magic. You truly are amazing, Micaiah. I don't know about that. Let's keep this among ourselves. We don't want people to confuse us... Uh, confuse us with the branded. What are the branded? I'm pretty sure it refers to Bjork who have Lagoo's blood in their veins. I know, it's hard to imagine someone with the blood of a subhuman running through their veins. Anyway, I've been terribly mis... I've been terribly mistreated by people who thought I was one of the branded. Micaiah? Oh, sorry. I think I understand more about you now. And about the marks we share. I'm glad I was able to tell you. I'm surprised you didn't know. Come talk to me again sometime. Certainly. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, I wanted to give you this. What is it? It's... Blah, it's this splendid sword I recently acquired. It gives the wielder the upper hand in battle. Keep it or give it to whomever you like. Shouldn't you give it to the soldier you deem most worthy? No, I wouldn't want the soldiers I'm think Grr. I wouldn't want the soldiers thinking I'm giving anyone special treatment. It would be inappropriate. That's what Azuka says anyway. So I think you should do it. I understand. You must have so much on your mind. Indeed. I long for the old days when I was poor but had few worries. That's the truth. Prince Pelius. But I'll keep fighting. I won't stop until Dayan is free once more. Here, here. Mono prison camp. Wait, is this the same one that we were attacking anyway? Or did we pick a new one? I don't think he ever said the name of it. What? An enemy attack? Yes, sir. The Liberation Army is mounted an assault on the gate. We require reinforcements. <laughs> they seek to free their men. My elite guard shall stay here with me. Take the rest to squash these rebels. But, sir, if your guard remains here, we'll have barely enough men to... Who do you think you're talking to, soldier? With my guard and me at the ready, this camp need fear no attack. Uh, excuse me. Understood? Now go. You have your orders. Okay. Now what are you about to show us? Or is this where we come in? Oh, there's Soph. There's Micaiah. Looks like Tyronio has them distracted. They've left only a small force here to defend the camp itself. Perfect. That should make it easier for us to eliminate their defenses, seize the camp, and free the prisoners. Okay, so now we have people we can't use. Oh, just one. Alright, so... What do we have here? Six and six and she's nine. Okay. Eleven, thirteen, no, no, no. Nine. Eleven, thirteen, thirteen... And that's it, okay. No, this might actually go south. So, let's save that in case we die. Uh, know what seas is. Uh, storm sword. Okay, it's like a wind sword, but better. Nothing else looks particularly dangerous. That iron blade might hurt a little. Um, door, door, door. I guess that's a door as well. One, two, three. All right, well, um.
so. Let them come to me and we'll go from there. <laughs> I still don't really know how to feel about the fact that he can stay transformed. It is neat, I'll give you that. Ah, oh, Tormund! What do you think, Miriam? Is that the building so thin? Most likely, little one. Ah, oh, dude, he looks so cool. So, are we gonna help him? Or should we just stand here all day and twiddle our thumbs? What do you think? We're helping, of course. Keep up, Miriam. Come on, Vika. Dude, Miriam looks so cool now. Hey, boss, wait a second. I'll be... He's already out of sight. How does he do that on the skinny Bjork legs? Who do you think taught him how to run? We'd better go after him. <laughs> oh yeah. So... Huh? What? Eh? Have no fear. Tormod is here. I'm coming to your rescue. Tormod? You crazy fool. Alright, let's go wild. This'll be fun. Ah, yeah! Subhuman! It's a subhuman! What the? Calm down. Just use fire magic for the beast and wind for the birds. That'll do the trick. That child hasn't transformed yet. Nab him before he does. <laughs> Fool. Transforming ain't what I do. But I can do this. Hit. He's a mage! Fall back! Don't get too close to him! Who in the world are they? People I used to know. I'll introduce you later, but for now, let's concentrate on the fight. <laughs> okay. Uh, nah, I'm, I'm good with doors. I guess I'll have to kill him. What do you got? Your bow, mage. What's your resistance like? So, well, not too good, but not too bad. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Defense is 15. He hits for 23, that's 8. He hits for 16, that's 5. 8 and 5 is 13. He hits for 9, that's 22. Plus 7 is 29. So... didn't die? <coughs> uh. Excuse me. That was probably loud. I'm sorry about that. Ooh. I like that crit animation. What kind of bird is she? A raven? Yeah. Soap was one of my favorites. Huh. 
Okay, well, since nobody attacked, let's see what Makaya can do. 12 or 17. Make the 6 real semi reliably. I hope I moved her where I intended to. Okay, extra defense is good. I wish she would get a little more speed, but that wasn't a bad level at all. complain about that. Now please hit. I mean either way you're gonna get the level but okay good. Good good good. bad level. It's not a great one, but it's not horrible. Um, well, that sucked. It's not a great level, but extra defense is always nice. And skill never hurts either. I think she can quite reach so from here. Okay, that was good. Um, again, we could use more defense, but uh, you're not taking down Torment. I'm sorry, but there's no way. You give up on that dream right now. was a hefty hit though. I 
think he can take it though. Mm. Maybe not. Okay, let's just come over here first, eh? Still need to hit somebody with no one. Er, yeah. They just not move? Because that a thing. Saw that coming. Uh, at least he got. At least he got this level. That's the important bit. Now yeah, the level was kind of weak, but yeah. Speaking of level, level-wise, who's under ten? Megan, Laura. Okay. Hit rate is so low. I guess there's a reason the, uh... The healing items are so much more plentiful. Laura, watch out for these slippery brutes. I'm here if you need me. Good to see you. May the goddess bless us and keep us safe. Slippery brutes, eh? He doesn't double. Okay, good. I did instead. Wonderful. Hey, Torment! You! What in blazes did you do, you scurvy traitor? Wait, what? What are you talking about? You grew! Too tall! Okay, that makes sense. And to think, <clears throat> I expected you to make sense. I have more important things to tend to. Hey, it's important to me! What I'd really like to hear about is that issue I asked you to look into. How'd it go? I have news to report, but there's no time to chat in the tick of a fight. I'll tell you later. Hey! <laughs> all right, got all these boys. Well, I guess two boys and a girl, but you know, whatever. Got all of them. Now the question is, how does the uh, prince feel about the Lagoos? Because we're getting more joining this camp. Heck, we even have a prince of them. I want to know what happened to that. I just disappeared like quick, fast, and in a hurry. <laughs> Yeah. 
we went from, sure, we can escort you to Crimea, to, oh, we're helping, that was an interesting attack, to, oh, we're helping this prince win a war, just out of nowhere. He can attack at range. But just in case, we're gonna keep him uh, held back. Oh, this might not be good. Oh, phew. Say, she might have just got double teamed and taken out, but that's not the case, which is good. First things first. You you really came to save us. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You have no idea how scared I've been. I'm so glad I didn't give up. We knew the Maiden of Miracles would free us. Alright. Cool, cool. Maiden of Miracles and all that. Oh, he is weaker. Okay. Well. Sure, movement. Five, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, double. Okay, you can't reach. Oh, for irony's sake, we'll have the bird take out the archer. I kind of want Torment to take out the knight, but I don't know if, uh... I don't know how much damage he would get done to him, so let's see... Ah, he's fine. On the bright side, victory condition is C's, so I can just go around killing everybody while I wait for, uh... Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. While I wait for the guys to... Uh, words. While I wait for the guys to open all the doors. Alright, now over here... We can have Micaiah take him out in one hit, that's cool. Anti-armor and anti-cavalry. I should read item descriptions. That might have been a bad thing. How much damage can Meg do if she hits? Uh, 9 or 12. 9 is more reliable. So. It would leave you with 7 if it hits. Nice, nice. Uh, let's move you up. Cool.
Thank you. I'm saved. I couldn't have held on any longer. I'm going to make a run for it. I refuse to die in this pit of despair. I choose to live and return to my family. I mean, that's cool and all, but, uh... Couldn't you live and help us out? <laughs> Critical hit for two damage. <laughs> funny how Teronio by himself was causing enough distraction for the guy to come ask for more, uh, for reinforcements. Ooh, I really should have checked that guy's, uh, attack before I did this. I don't think he'll be able to do 20 to Torment. Is pretty beefy, but uh, it's 12, 22. Yeah, he can only do 10. Okay. Okay, they lose three for attacking. Uh, I'm gonna keep you just outside of this range. I don't think it's strong enough that one archer could take her out, but just in case. We're doing good for ourselves right now. Reinforcements? More reinforcements? <laughs> Maybe Teronio ran away. This isn't a dream? I can really leave this miserable cage? Oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved my life. Okay, but they don't have any discernible weapons, so let's see if I can actually... No, I can't. I can't tell them what to do. Okay. And it seems, uh, for the Lagoos, which I'm sure it tells you this somewhere, it seems like their stats double when they transform. But since he can stay transformed, um, they only increase by 1.5. Is what the case appears to be. You check with him at I guess you guys can't use ledges, huh? So I only need Micaiah at the, um, where the boss is. Ah, 
blundering through like a bull in a china shop. Come closer so I can shatter your ambition like glass. I will beat into your very bones just who rules this land. Yeah, sure. Sure you will. I wonder if I get the Storm Sword. I don't think it was dropped, but... They were worthless, trivial, only scum of day and How? How could f that filth have... So we will leave you, no, we will leave you and you and you for good measure to guard this side. I've played most of the Fire Emblem games since uh, FE7, which was either the Binding Blade or the Blazing Sword. I think it was the Blazing Sword. Um, it was the first one released in America, so to us it was just Fire Emblem. <laughs> but I've played basically all of them uh, since then. I've probably missed one or two. Um, but... Uh, through all of that, Tormod is probably the beefiest mage I've ever seen. <laughs> Alright, cool, they got away. Eh, that's not good. the Liberation Army. I've heard about you. I'll never forget my debt to you. If I survive and make it home, I vow to devote the rest of my life to your cause. I'll fight for day and honor, just like you do. Oh, what is your resistance? Okay. Good. Good, it's high. I was really worried I just creep myself with that. Okay, so... Can you reach? No, you can't. So... Ah, oh, fuck. Oh. Excuse me. Uh, but this is not good. Can you reach him? Yes, you can. Can you kill him? Yes, you can. Cool. I'm just using all my strong people, and I don't like it because I want to make my weak people stronger, but... I'm definitely not optimally strategizing <laughs> at this point. Oh, and your resistance is really good. Get you first. Oh, man. I didn't want to waste uses of that. I wanted her to be using light. 
Oh well. Tease what it tease. And it taints what it taint. <laughs> Every time somebody says it is what it is, there's an Uncle Cracker song, and I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. It goes, it is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't. Every time somebody says it is what it is, that's my immediate next thought. Yep, and it ain't what it ain't. Oh, yay, she got a speed. I like that. Alright, so I'm not going to force route, but I am going to take out what I can before I seize. I didn't watch the tutorial. I'm really hoping they did not change how C's works in this game. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? Well, that was unfortunate. I just really like the beefiest, bulkiest mage I can remember. Like, his strength is maxed out. He actually gets defense. Like, it, it's ridiculous. He's so good. Uh, and then... Yeah, there's only one enemy. Seems... So, see here. So, who were those three, and where did they come from? Will they join my Liberation Army? They are my personal acquaintances from ben Binyan. They're my personal acquaintances from Binyan. Yeah, I'm still gonna say Binyan, because if I try to say Binyan fast, it ends up... And yeah, they can handle themselves in a fight. But if any more Lagoos join us, there will be problems. Wait, what? If any more Lagoos join us, there will be problems. What? We managed to hide Volg and his true nature, but with more Lagoos, it'll surely get out. Oh, okay. I got it. I thought he was saying there'd be problems with us. Like, wait, what? That doesn't sound like so. Any such backlash can be extinguished with proper punishment. But Lagoos, they're powerful and expendable. Just what we need. By all means, invite them to join. I hate this guy. They're good friends. I'm sure they'll agree to help if I ask, you mumbling creep. But isn't it the prince and not you who should make those decisions? Question me not, young Soph. My words are the prince's words. You need to understand that. Isn't that right, my prince? Ah, uh, yes, that's right. You should do as Azuka wishes. I see. I hate Azuka so much. Like, I'm enjoying this game, but I'm hating where the story's going if we have to deal with Azuka. I'm glad you see. Now, quickly, quickly, go talk to your friends and see, uh, see to it you don't foul up. How'd you get here so soon? More importantly, how'd the investigation go? It went great. In fact, we finished up so quickly we flew, uh, we flew here to back you up in case you needed help. 
Um... Oh, sorry, I haven't introduced myself yet. You're Micaiah, I take it. I'm Tormund. Three years back, Soth and I were in the Crimean army. Sorta. We fought side by side as mercenaries under Ike. Of course, General Ike. Again. I beg your pardon? Nothing. Don't mind me. So anyway, what is this investigation Soth requested of you? I began to doubt that the Apostle Binyan's Empress actually knew what was happening in Dayan. At only 13, the Apostle may be young, but she's proud and upstanding. She'd never let these kinds of things happen to Dayan. So I asked Torma to fill, uh, fill her in on what was really happening here. This is what we learned. The Apostle had noticed something shady about Dayan. She was investigating on her own. She traced the ones pulling the strings to a certain faction of senators. Now, she's snapping mad, but without proof, she can't publicly move against him. The Apostle is the highest power in Dayan. Even so, she and the Senate are rarely on good terms with each other. I feel like that's supposed to say the highest power in Binyan, or Binyan, but by proxy would be the highest power in Dayan as well, since Binyan is occupying Dayan. Eh. So, she promised she'd help us however she can. She said to do whatever is necessary, and that inspired me to find you sooner than later. I see. So, I can depend on having you three around, for at least a little while. Yeah, your old pal here is going to take care of everything. Just try to get rid of Try getting rid of me. Blah, 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 blah. I can only try. What do you mean by that? Uh, you're as blockheaded as ever. Interesting music. That's Soth. He looks happy for some reason. Because he's reunited with my little one. That must be it. Oh, Soth, ever since he was small, he's tried to act more grown up than the grown ups. I've taken care of him so long, and still I've never seen him smile so easily before. Hmm. Watch what you say. Comments like that, they reveal that your appearance belies your true age. What are you... Among the Lagoos, there are those who detest and revile half-breeds such as yourself. They call you... Parentless. And deny you any Lagoos heritage, honor, or dignity. Take due care. Oh. Oh no. Oh, so she's one of the branded. Okay. Makes sense, I guess. Alright, well that was uh, Chapter 7, A Gathering Hope. Oh, this episode has reached about an hour. I feel like they're all going to be around that length, just kind of based on the last Let's Play. Uh, from here on in, so. Longer episode, thank you for hanging around, I really appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the, uh, the game. Uh, well me playing the game because that's not quite the same thing i'm really bad at it if you watch somebody else i'm sure that's a lot a lot more informative but um hope you're enjoying it i'm having a lot of fun playing it uh and once again we're kind of on a cliffhanger like we didn't really receive any direction at the end of there so i don't know where the story is going um assumption would be we're either going to try to find the apostle proof or continue liberating prison camps or maybe both um still have to get the heron prince to gallia as well he disappeared i don't know what happened there uh, but yeah i uh, hope you guys are enjoying it as much as i'm playing it thanks for sticking around if you liked it leave a like on the video if you have anything to say leave a comment it's always good to hear from people and uh, if you are enjoying it, maybe subscribe. You'll get a notification when I upload a new video. I'm trying to do these Monday, Wednesday, Friday until I finish the game. And uh, yeah, all that good YouTuber stuff. <laughs> uh, I think that's it for me, guys. Uh, until next time, y'all take care of yourselves. I've been Kieran, signing out.